What's up you guys, Eddie at Fliptronics. We're going to be getting into another phone battle here with the LG G8 ThinQ versus the Nokia 7.1. Alright, so these phones are way different when it comes to price and specs, which I'm going to cover right now. And then of course we're going to get into a gameplay comparison, a Netflix comparison, and you know, I hope you guys enjoy this. So anyways, the LG G8 ThinQ uh, is very new right now. Uh, it's one of my favorite phones. It's got a 6.1 inch OLED display. And then of course over here on the Nokia 7.1, you're looking at a 5.8 inch LCD LCD display. So you basically have LCD versus OLED here. The uh, LG is also going to have a bigger screen obviously, but the price difference on these phones is significant. Now the Nokia sells for around 300 to 350 right now as opposed to the LG which is going to run you you know, around $800. So, I mean, there is a huge price difference there. As far as processors go, you've got a Snapdragon 636 in the Nokia, a Snapdragon 855 in the LG, so you have a better processor over on the LG. And then, of course, camera-wise, 12 megapixel back camera in the Nokia, 5 megapixels on the front uh, selfie camera, and then, of course, over here on the LG, you've got a 16 megapixel back and then an 8 megapixel for selfies. So, with that said, camera obviously is going to go to this uh, LG as well but enough talking about the phones I want to get into the actual comparison here and I'll throw some links down there if you want to learn more about these phones and uh, you know or check them out so I'm going to throw up uh, into the dead too because honestly you know this is one of the best high graphic uh, zombie games out there one of my favorites now I've got both phones pretty much blasted to the loudest volume setting so that's what you're going to be hearing here uh, and let me know what you guys think below, but like I said, uh, the Nokia is an awesome phone, don't get me wrong, uh, but obviously <clears throat> it's going to be hard to match it up here against the LG, but it's a huge price difference, so if you are looking to save some money, obviously I would definitely recommend going with this Nokia, because it still is an awesome phone in its own right. I right, hope you guys enjoy this, and uh, let's kill some zombies. Ooh, that was a splatter kill. Alright, so like I said, the Nokia is an awesome phone, right? But let's uh, throw this game up now on the LG. a really awesome uh, end right there. Alright, anyways, uh, that is going to be our actual gameplay. I do want to... 
now check out some uh, Netflix. So I wanted to throw some video up. The other thing I forgot to mention about these phones is that the LG's got an all Gorilla Glass design as opposed to the Nokia up here. It's got an aluminum and glass design. So uh, the Nokia is going to be a much more fragile phone. And I think I've actually scratched it up quite a bit since having it. But anyways, let's throw up some Netflix and, uh, you know, just kind of have uh, this going on both phones. I guess I had it. Avengers still going at some point, I guess. Here, let me, uh... Alright, we'll throw up Avengers Infinity War. Alright, cool. They're actually, like, both going at the same time, almost simultaneously. So, I mean, you can definitely see a difference uh, between the OLED and LCD, but like I said, the Nokia up here was definitely, like... It's definitely one of my favorite phones right now that sells for around 300 bucks. You know, I, I think it's going to be hard to find better than it because I think Nokia is definitely making a comeback as far as, uh, you know, phones go. Right, that's a pretty good look at both phones right now. I like how it's echoing a little bit because it's a little bit off. You may think this is suffering. No, no. It is, it salvation. is salvation. Where's that Thanos? Okay, I'm gonna, you know, wrap things up there for everybody, but, you know, honestly, like, <clears throat> I wanted to do a comparison with the Nokia phone against the LG, because haven't done it yet, uh, you know, I love both phones, but you're looking at a huge price difference, I still think the Nokia is gonna be a good phone to go with if you have, like, a budget around 300 bucks, LG, it's gonna cost you some money, but it is kinda like one of my favorite new phones to come out so far this year, I'll throw links in the description if you guys wanna check either of them out, please hit the like and share, thanks for watching, and we'll see y'all later.